I should stay with us. Uh, you know, time to open up the 360 archives for a ridiculous classic. And this one is a perfect fit because, as we usually do on Tuesdays, Wolf Blitzer and I were sitting around drinking smoothies and Googling the latest news on the Kardashians. It's what we do. We came across this article about the family matriarch, Chris Jenner. Mrs. Jenner has opened up to more magazine about the challenges of managing her family's business empire, which last year reportedly earned, wait for it, $65 million. Her job, she says, is to turn Kim and Company's 15 minutes of fame into 30 minutes of fame. Now, that's obviously going to prompt a lot of groans and eye rolls. So we thought it might be a good idea to share with you Anderson's take on what he calls the Kim Kardashian haters. Don't worry. I've made sure this, this segment has an important medical angle. Tonight we're adding Kim Kardashian haters because of what they've driven Kim to do. For a while now, I've had this unsettling feeling that, I don't know, something just it was, was off. Like the universe was slightly out of whack. Something was missing. I couldn't pinpoint the source of the feeling, but then it hit me. No one has really been saying much about Kim Kardashian's butt lately. Well, Kim remedied that situation quite nicely on last night's episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. If this is what it takes to shut up the entire world, that my butt is real, then I will happily do it. You heard her right. Unbeknownst to me, the entire world will not stop talking about the, uh, will not stop with the cracks about her butt. It's veracity, so to speak. I can't even take this seriously. I've said numerous times, like, I haven't had plastic surgery. I haven't had butt implants. Are butt implants really a thing? I mean, I've always thought they were kind of like snuff films. People talk about them, but has anyone actually seen one? And in any case, Kim and her sisters have had enough of the lies, and, and frankly, I don't blame them. Last night, in a very unscripted moment on their very unscripted reality show, Kim and the other one were on the computer and found the straw that broke the camel's back side. A tragedy struck Kim Kardashian last night on a private plane from New Jersey to Las Vegas. Her left butt cheek exploded. <laughs> they can make up a completely fake story. This like... is the same website that says that Kim burned a raccoon. Forget the exploding butt cheek. I want to hear more about that raccoon. But alas, it's all about the Benjamins. With Kim looking on, the other one came up with an idea of how to set the record straight once and for all. Who the hell of a normal person gets butt implants? I mean, if you want to prove them wrong, get like an x-ray and like... An x-ray? Of your ass to show there's no I... silicone in there. Chloe, I think that's an amazing idea. It's kind of like watching Edwin Hubble first realize the universe is expanding. But would Kim go for the idea? Would she be willing to put the, the ass back in classy? So I really just want to get like a butt x-ray so I can show the whole world. Well, congratulations, whole world. But wait a second. Will an x-ray really help us get to the bottom of this world crisis? I'm thinking that we need some kind of control group. Luckily, the other one, being the Marie Curie of our times, is covered. Can we x-ray Courtney's boobs so I can see what an implant looks like? Okay. I bet when that doctor was in medical school, he dreamed of one day being able to save lives to really help people. Congratulations. All this x-raying seems like overkill, though. Anyone who's ever read a comic book knows all you really need to put this to rest is $1 plus postage and handling. But since Kim went to all the trouble of getting an x-ray, since she got on the table and turned sideways and held her breath while the entire world simultaneously held his breath, yeah, let's look at that again, we might as well hear the results. Ready for the truth? All right, so... No implant. This is Shocker. Kim. I am so glad that I did this x-ray. I think I speak for the whole world when I say we are so glad to, Kim. We are so glad to.